Hi guys, now this is not meant to be a complex or uh, long video, it's just a really short basic video for anyone who wants to know how the ICOS or VAWS works or the VOS 1.0 works in a nutshell. Tool is available at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to this kit in the description below the video. I'll also put a link to the latest blog for this tool, uh, which gives you all the latest uh, information on the tool. So uh, we've got a, a scan tool here, we've got the one end of the cable is going into the tool the other end of the cable which you see right there that needs to go into the diagnostic port of your vehicle you won't get power on this tool until you actually plug it in so let me do that now apologies if you get the back of my head in the shop so we've got that plugged in and now you can see the tool has come to life so this is the main screen it's not a touch screen you do everything by navigation here and we don't have any warning lights or faults on this car at the moment, so I'm just going to go through the process as, as if we did have something. So um, go to Diagnostics, select your manufacturer. You can either select your vehicle, and it gives you a long list. So that is just the Audi version, the VW is much bigger and we've also got Seat and Skoda or you can select the system in which you wish to diagnose. So let's say I wanted to diagnose maybe a fault in the engine system of this car. Click on the engine control module, it will connect. Sometimes this will take a long time, sometimes it'll take a very short time, depending on the car actually. Um, that's one thing I've noticed about this. This particular car itself, this tool takes about a minute or so to connect with the engine module. But if I've got a different car, like a VW Golf or something, you know, it may just take a few seconds. So uh, in hindsight, I kind of wish I hadn't pressed that, but you know, I've pressed it now, so we'll go ahead with it and we'll just we'll just do a quick check to see if there are any faults in this particular car. And indeed, it can serve as like a health check tool as well. So maybe you just want to make sure your car is well looked after. Uh, you don't have any current faults with your car, but you want it to get a tool. These tools can serve as good prevention tools because you know, sometimes a fault will come under the system without even a check engine light or a warning light coming into play. Um, once the once the car deems the fault as serious, then it will put a warning light on. So there might be fault codes in the background lurking that you don't necessarily know about. Okay, so we can read fault code. This one does have a little uh, two faults here. Passive uh, function limitation due to received malfunction value doesn't really mean anything. I'm going to see if I can clear those faults. Because they weren't there last time I checked, so it's quite a strange one that. I'm not gonna I'm not worried about those too much, but that's an example of what you can get. You know, if you if you were really unsure about what a fault meant, putting the fault code and the description of the fault into a Google search engine will give you everything you need to know. Because if you're getting it, the chances are other people will get it as well. Uh, so we can go to the ABS module. This will interrogate the ABS system. It'll probably turn some lights on somewhere along the line. There we go. Read fault codes. No fault found. That's good news. And obviously there are lots of main systems. It's giving us an options of up to 137 options to diagnose depending on the spec of the car, you know, what systems are actually installed into your car. I'm going to go to airbag here. We'll make this the final one. I really just wanted this to be a two minute video. Again, this seems to be taking a little longer. No fault code found, so that's good news. And then of course, what we've got is, we've got lots of live data we can view. You can do an oil service reset. Uh, for your vehicle, you can do battery voltages, minimum maximums, and uh, sort of average and currents. This is live data from the battery. Um, OBD2, OBD diagnostic tool lookup, or diagnostic trouble code lookup, should I say. Um, but yeah, it's an excellent tool if, you, as I say, if you are looking to uh, maintain your VW, Audi, Seat, or Skoda, and uh, you wanted to maybe get a tool that is suited for your vehicle, then I would say this is definitely one of the best tools to uh, to go for. Don't have to plug in any software into it; it comes 
uh, out of the box you can use it straight away it's plug and play you don't need to install any messy laptop installation softwares or anything like that uh, but it is available as I said Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com I'll put the link to this kit in the description below the video I'll also put the, the link to the latest blog post for this tool thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time